Hi, I'm Tonya Caruso. Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers, bringing young people in art together for a mission of learning so much more. Joining us in our studios this half hour is Joy Taylor. She's the operations director of the Martin Luther King or MLK Community Mural Project. Thank you so much for coming in and talking with us today. Thank you for having us. And so begin by telling me about the project. Well, the project actually stands for Moving the Lives of Kids Community Mural Project. Um, began in 2004 we, here in Pittsburgh and what we do is we employ youth to work with professional artists to create public art. So we are an educational, cultural, historical and of course creative program that brings kids from many different communities and areas together and partners them with amazing professionals that give them professional skills educational skills and, and so much more. And really so many great murals that have been around the city and, and let's talk about some of those. Well we have some amazing ones. Um, there's so many to really mention a few but um, one of our landmark ones is in Wilkinsburg on Penn Avenue which is the Martin Luther King Jr. busway which is how we began and how we originally got the name. Um, but that's a very very uh, historical and landmark uh, mural for us. It uh, depicts the culture and history of that area and is definitely one that's very well known. We have um, one in Squirrel Hill which is now actually currently on the, uh, the flags around the, the community so that one's uh, very very special to us as well and there's, there's so many, over 200 around the city of Pittsburgh. You touched on so many different things and why this is so great for young people and one of those being that you bring young people from all different neighborhoods together and sometimes these would be neighbor neighborhoods that might have rival rivalries and you bring these young people together of course of course well the great thing about art is there really are no boundaries and when you bring kids in that have problems like that or would never be working together come from different communities and they're all making something that is public and the neighbors are walking by saying hey you know thank you for doing this in our community you know this is something that will be here permanent you know for the next 25 years they can bring their kids to come and see it so it's great when we can when we can do that we can facilitate a program that is so against violence and so non-controversial it's something that they can collaborate on and we see it we see it so much it's really very rewarding and you have so many different um, projects that go on throughout the year um, fashion is a big part too and let's talk about that well our new project this year is the fashion for the future project and we're really really excited about this program and what this program does is partners at-risk girls ages 14 to 20 with professional fashion designers and artists so it's something that we designed not only to provide you know summer employment program for these girls but also a program that brings them together, as we were just saying, and gives them an opportunity to be creative, but work in an environment that is non-controversial. It is, you know, it, we're providing something to them that allows them to be express themselves. And you know, as women, you know, we love to get dressed up and we love to play with clothes and jewelry and all that. But what we really wanted to do was create a program that showed them that art and fashion and retail, this is all a career possibility as well. And we wanted to open their eyes to becoming young entrepreneurs and how to start their own business, how to start their own fashion line, health, you know, self-esteem, of course, and we want them to be in an environment where their input is important because most of these kids really no one listens to them and this is a program, not just the fashion program, but the project altogether that gives them a voice and that's really where we see the passion come out is kids are always, no one listens to me, no one hears what I have to say and this is something that the public can see and appreciate and understand and they get to see their work publicly displayed. That's fantastic and you have an event coming up in October, late October. Let's talk about that. Yes, the Outside the Lines events will be October 20th and this is a very special event. We'll be debuting all, some of the murals that we did. They will actually physically be there. We'll be um, unveiling the entire project to the city and you know thanking our, our many wonderful sponsors that have helped us uh, through this project and there will be you know, fashion, the Fashion for the Future show will be there, and art from many of our artists and youth as well. Yeah, well, Joy, such a phenomenal program, and we thank you so much for coming in and spending some time with us today. Thank you, and we thank Comcast for giving us the opportunity. You're welcome. I'm Tonya Caruso. Thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. We'll send you back now to HLN.
Thank <laughs> you.